Hey guys, how you doing? It's your boy Rich from Rich TV Live. And we are live and interactive, bringing you the daily news. And we're going to talk about what's going on in the markets, stocks, cryptocurrencies, green everywhere. Futures were red, a little slightly red. And then they erased the red and we were green. Big green day in the markets for both stocks and cryptocurrencies. So recession fears right now, even though they mount, we didn't see that in the markets today. So it was very interesting to see that the Dow Jones was up 368 points, the NASDAQ up 134 points, and the TSX up 183 points. So big green day in the markets and cryptocurrencies. We're going to look at the charts for Bitcoin and Ethereum all green and running up today, running up big. Now, news to look out for for July 29th. Canadian news, GDP, month over month, numbers come out with medium impact on the market. And it's the broadest measure of economic activity and the primary gauge of the economy's health. So extremely important that you look at the GDP numbers if you're in Canada, which are coming out tomorrow. In American news, core PCE price index month over month and that is very high impact news so we are going to be watching that very very closely traders care about the news measures because it is the federal reserve's primary inflation measure so extremely important that you're paying attention to the core pce price index month over month in america on the 29th so Everything that we're talking about is what is happening today on the 28th. If you're watching this video on the 29th, pay attention to the big news in Canada and the United States. We're going to be watching all of it very, very closely here on richtv.io for our community and with our community, a community built by investors for investors. Other big news that's happening today right now after market, Apple just reported pretty strong beating. They are up slightly. Amazon had a big beat. Very, very big beat for Amazon. They are surging right now, 11% after hours. Intel, not good numbers for Intel. They are down big after reporting, after hours. So big earnings. We're going to see how that affects the market tomorrow. But so far, especially with Amazon looking very, very exciting. So that was good to see. And I think the market will respond to that Amazon news uh, more so than the Intel news and the Apple beat. Even though it's a slight beat for Apple, it's always nice to see Apple beat. So I think that's going to be very good for the markets overall. Now, we're going to take a look at the price of Bitcoin and Ethereum. So let's quickly take a look at the price of Bitcoin and Ethereum. Here we go. So this is the price of Bitcoin and Ethereum. So you can see Bitcoin right now. This is the one month chart and on the one hour chart timeline, you can clearly see that Bitcoin for the one month is very close to the high of the month. So we're right around the high of the month. Bitcoin right now trading at 24,100. So extremely bullish. And you can see trading right around the high of the month. So if you're in Bitcoin and you're looking to make a trade, this is a great sell zone. If you're looking to take a trade because Bitcoin is deeply in the green and at the high of the month. Now, if you're a long-term investor like me, you love this and you're just gonna hold Bitcoin. That's what I'm doing. Same thing with Ethereum. You can see the high of the month, Bitcoin doing a high of the month, and Ethereum now also hitting a high of the month. So this is very, very bullish for Ethereum, which is now at a high of the month. Now, if you're in this trade, always good to be selling in the green. That's what we teach. And Ethereum is clearly in the green, now hitting a new high for the month, now at 1778 for one Ethereum and a new high for the month for Ethereum. We love to teach sell in the green and buy in the red. So if you've been buying Bitcoin or Ethereum when they were on the dip, this is a great time to take profits as they surge or you can hold. I'm holding my Bitcoin and Ethereum positions, not looking to sell at these levels. I like to sell at all time highs. So the next time we get to all time highs for Bitcoin and Ethereum, that's where I will be looking to sell. Until then, I'm just going to be holding. But if you're looking to make a trade, Bitcoin and Ethereum now at one month highs, great time to take profits if you're looking for a trade. Love to know what you think about this trade idea. 
This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live. Now let's just go back and quickly take a look at Pfizer. I just want to quickly talk about Pfizer. Pfizer also beat huge, huge, huge beat for Pfizer. And I want to give you guys full disclosure. I am a holder of Bitcoin and Ethereum and Amazon. So please do your due diligence. And Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. And past performance is not always an indication of future results. I am a shareholder of Amazon. I am a holder of Bitcoin and Ethereum. And I am a shareholder of Pfizer. It is my number one stock holding. I absolutely love my Pfizer. And they just had a huge revenue beat. 27.7 billion in revenue for the quarter for Pfizer. I think it's a safe zone. They also pay a 3% dividend. It's the number one holding. It's been an amazing stock, even through the toughest market we've gone through here in 2022. In quite some time, Pfizer has held up when some of the biggest companies that are down, including Apple and Amazon and Google, Bank of America, and all the top banks in Canada, all of them are down in 2022, but yet Pfizer has been holding pretty strong. They're down slightly from their highs, but they've been doing quite well in 2022. And their, their earnings beat shows year over year revenue growth of 53% with 27.7 billion in revenue for the quarter for Pfizer. So huge quarter for Pfizer. And I just wanted to leave you with that. Thank you guys for watching. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring in the winners. We bring in the news. We bring in the CEO interviews. We bring in the analysis. We bring you company overviews. And we bring it to you first. The only platform in the world where I physically own Bitcoin. I physically own crypto. I physically own stocks. I physically own real estate. I physically own NFTs. And we getting into the metaverse too. It's true. If you want to learn about all of those industries, all in one place, all you got to do is go to richtv.io. Thank you guys for watching. It's your boy Rich from Rich TV. If you want to get rich with your boy Rich, get rich with Rich. All you got to do is go to richtv.io. I'm out. Peace. And make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell for notifications and smash those likes. See you guys later.